What are you doing? What do you mean? I'm picking out my hair. Mom, Madoof used your filthy broom comb for his hair. What a title show. Ugh. Oh my god, my poor child. I put it down for two seconds and you're already touching it. Give me it. This is a broom comb. It's meant for the broom. <laughs> now go wash your hair. Good afternoon. Today, we're going to introduce you to a life-changing product that will make cleaning less stressful for you. My name is Nelson Torres, and I am the Chief Executive Officer for DustMac. Hello. My name is Mazora Wiggins, and I am the Chief Financial Officer of DustMac. Hello. My name is Shinari Barrows, and I am Director of Sales and Marketing. Finally, I'm Madhuf. I'm the Creative Design Director. Our mission at DustMac is to make sweeping pain free. We value cleanliness, efficiency, and customer service. Now let me ask you a question. Have you ever been cleaning, then realized your broom isn't efficient or effective? Yeah. It's probably because there's all types of dust, lint, hairs, and gunk stuck all over the bottom of your broom. Raise your hand if you're guilty like me of using your hands to move the gunk off the bottom of your broom. Well, we have developed the perfect product for people like you. Dust, Dust Mac. Mac. Dust Mac is an innovative broom comb. You simply attach it to your broom and comb up all the gunk in two to three strokes. It is highly effective. It's durable and thoughtfully designed. Our competitive advantage is that our product will come in more than eight different colors and is attachable and usable on all household and commercial brooms. Unlike our competitors, who do not offer a wide variety of colors, and the broom combs are not attachable to all brooms. DustMac is made on a 3D printer from layers and layers of plastic filament that make it way more durable than our competition. Lastly, this product is made by us. Some 15-year-old students were actually designed from scratch. Our primary target market are men and women ages eight and older. Our secondary target market... Our secondary target market are people involved with cleaning and hair services, or people who just freakishly like to clean, like our bill teacher, Miss Alves. <laughs> like, seriously, she's obsessive. <laughs> now, you may be wondering why eight years old. That's too young. But we don't expect eight-year-olds to buy the product. But we do know that they will use it if it's available to them, because we know children are taught at an early age to clean and sweep. We surveyed 21 people in our school community, ages 14 and older. 19 out of the 21 respondents said they would prefer to use a broom over other methods. This convinced us to make our product a reality because despite other methods, brooming is still very popular. For the most part, people like Mizora said that they used their hands to clean the dust off the bottom of the broom, but using feet was also popular. 17 of the 21 respondents said that they would or would possibly buy a dust mac. 50% of the respondents said that they would pay $6 or under for a dust mac, while the other 50% said they would pay $7 or above for a dust mac. Initially, we decided to price our product at $9, but eventually changed it to $12 for two reasons. First, that as we improved our product, our cost of goods went up $1.14. Secondly, after showcase two, which was our investor's pitch to get seed funding, we learned that there was a lot of hype around DustMac, which made us realize we were brewing something very special. As mentioned earlier, we plan to sell our product for $12. We plan to promote our product by introducing specials using social media, business card flyers, and word of mouth. Additionally, we will allow people to touch DustMac themselves. We plan to sell our product at Bill sponsored events, 
flea markets, Amazon, Etsy, our own website, and we're waiting for an invite from your company. <laughs> we really believe in our product and that it will change the lives of all sweepers. That's why we hope to one day also pitch to Target and Walmart. We also hope to donate some of our proceeds to Cleaning for a Reason, which is a nonprofit organization that helps clean the homes of cancer patients. But first, we have to measure our success and our ability to donate. Our first draft, as you can see, was too small, had short teeth, and made out of cheap filament. Our second draft had longer and extra teeth and was made out of quality filament. And it was too bulky. <laughs> Our third draft, as you can see, included our logo, an attachable clip, and an opening for hanging purposes. Our fourth draft was before we got it right, and that version has been sold already. Unfortunately, I can't show you it today, but I can show you it had a detachable clip, which was printed separately in order to get a vertically printed clip, making it way more durable than the previously horizontally printed clip. Finally, in our fifth draft, we think we got it right, but making the clip more secure. By adding two areas for magnets, that means the clip attaches to your broom, the comb part comes off, and magnetically attaches back when not in use. It's interesting how draft one let us know our vision was possible, but it's funny how we thought draft three was it, but we learned you can always improve on your product. Fortunately, our innovator dust macro requires very little material to make, so it only costs $2.81 to make each dust mat. Now subtract that from my sale price, and we will make a total profit of $9.19 per dust mat. <laughs> to date, we have sold 25 units of dust mat, bringing in a total revenue of $300. We were given up to $150 to start our business. We used $124. Now subtract that from our revenue, and we made a total profit of $176. We had to sell 11 units of dust mac to break even. And built our six spark skills. Collaboration, communication, innovation, grit, self-management, and problem solving. As a group, we did well on the innovation and problem solving side, but unfortunately, we realized we still have growing up to do and need more work on self-management. <laughs> we did really well with innovation and problem solving because we solved a common problem with an innovative, functional solution that underwent many drives. We struggled with self-management because we didn't hold each other accountable, and phones and stubbornness definitely set us back soon. <laughs> Despite all our struggles and success, we learned how all six spark skills will help us in our academic lives and professional futures. Dust Mac is, is the way. way. Keep gunk away. <laughs> performance. You guys were incredible. So proud of each and every one of you. Judges, it's your turn. Let's start in the middle this time with Court. I tell you, I don't know how I missed it, but I'm going to want to buy that last version. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm curious, what was the personal inspiration that caused you to come up with the idea? Oh, let me tell you. <laughs> well, well, you see, my mom, she's a cleaning maniac. She's always brooming around the house. And I just get tired of seeing her having to bend down. And you know, she's getting old. She might break her back soon. So being the good son that I am, I came into the Fab Lab with me and my teammates, and we decided the solution was dust mat. You know, I'm, I'm uh, quite impressed with this, uh, this product. How did how did you manufacture this? Is this 3D printed? Because you guys are in grade nine. <laughs> like this is, this is really impressive. I'm not kidding. What's this? <laughs> it sounds like you
you might want to invest in this one. How did you guys create this? Because this is pretty cool. The 3D printer is actually at their school, and they decided to use that to create a product. Explain how you guys did that. But this requires CAD design, etc. Who helped you with this? So, so we you know came up with the product, and then we went to the fab lab. The teacher was there. He helped us learn. We used a program called Onshape, and then so we learned the basics of Onshape, and from there. We made the sketches, we went over, we printed it out, made edits, and then you got the product you see now. Very impressive. You guys have incredible which is hard to do. Melissa, you have the floor. I am also incredibly impressed with your presence. And I'm wondering, uh, were the four of you just naturally excellent presenters before you joined up with Build, or was it something you learned along the way? Well, from my personal experience, I have a few, I've presented a few times in front of a whole bunch of people, so I knew that Build was just helping me, can, well, progress, progress, <laughs> in my life on public speaking. But I know as my teammates, they haven't had any experience before. So we really overcame the boundary of being shy and talking in front of a whole bunch of people. So it went from our first um, build competition, which was our idea pitch, which is to find out which ideas will make it to, well, move on. And then it went to our investors pitch, where we saw the progress of how we went from being very shy to talking in front of a little bit of people today talking in front of this big crowd today. So I am so wildly impressed and I get to tell you this product speaks to me. <laughs> I have not just one Newfoundland, which is a dog the size of a bear, I have two of them. <laughs> so I need this, this speaks to me. Qu question for you, you know, considering I have these ginormous dogs at home, you can imagine the fur that I find in my house. To clean it, do you just like run it under the water? You know, to clean the, the cleaner of the room, your product. Well, that's the wonderful thing about Dust Mac. Mm -hmm. You can distribute um, your hair or lint or anything that you're disposing yeah. of from the bottom of the room anywhere you want anywhere. to. Whether you want to awesome. disperse it by putting it over the toilet mm -hmm. or if you collect it or even throw it in the trash. <laughs> Another big round of applause for Team Dustin. <laughs> Excellent job. You know, as we've seen tonight, there is huge power in mentorship. The relationship that forms between a mentee and a mentor has a huge impact. We've heard the stories tonight. We've seen it on stage come to life, and we're going to talk more about how you can help us and get on board with us so that we can take Bill to even more schools. I'm gonna